Here we go, another one. This looks to be homemade. Somebody's pride and joy. Nothing really special on the outside. But I like digging in on the inside. You never know what you're going to find. Here we are on the inside. Comes apart that easy, right? Look at these. Man 1 and Man 1A displays, if I'm not mistaken. The clear ones are Man 1. And then a subsequent redesign, a red epoxy, is the Man 1A. Early LED 7 segment displays made of two dashes. This is the part I love about these old clocks. Somebody built this years ago with what they had on hand, which is probably way more common back then. And we're talking 70s, right? The last clock I got like this. So, six is your clock. Using the MK5250 made by Moss Tech, which unlike the MM5314 that I like to play with, the Moss Tech 5250 has an alarm. That's what the big speaker's for. There's no radio in this, it's just an audible alarm. I have yet to hear one. This is probably some sort of a buzzing output that comes out. And the cool thing here is all homemade built perf board stuff. Glob top transistors. Just cool to look back and see what things looked like back then. I think I stumbled on a package type. Uh, I think it's maybe a TO106. Anyway, everyone's calling them glob top now. And then larger diameter style. I don't know what official package that is. And these other transistors. Pretty neat. Older package type. This is interesting here. It's round case. You would think some sort of a push button, right? No, it's a toggle. I never saw one like that. Interesting. A little toggle switch. Round. Single pole, double throw. Interesting. Contact paper, letter yourself, snooze, alarm on and off, set minutes, hours, display, alarm time set, there's your speaker, grill, And then the surprise when I pull the cover off. This you gotta see. <clears throat> Look what was inside. Nineteen seventy seven. Diagram and operation instructions. It appears to me that might be a call sign for a ham radio operator. To open it up and see what's inside. K1 WYD 1977. I'll have to look him up on the ham radio operator website. 
Pretty much just a data sheet here. Little note. Minutes and hours have to be pressed at the same time to start the clock. Little set of instructions. Block diagram of the MOSFET chip. Well, a schematic diagram using the 5250 chip here. Taking notes. Oh yeah, there we are, man one. This is digit driver transistor arrangement 1 through 6 and then the 7 segments are driven by these lines current limiting resistors a few transistors down here and rest up here 8 all together, it should be 7 oh, one drives a decimal point for an AM PM indicator. Uh huh. Interesting. Very cool. There is the legacy. I had no luck in looking that up. Plug it in and it works. Well, that red epoxy provides a better look on camera, doesn't it? The clear ones don't show up as well. Interesting. But anyway, here you have it. The MAN-1 and MAN-1A display next to each other. Monsanto. I love the object is to collect clocks with different display types. This one is a keeper. It works. There you have it. Hit the snooze button on the back. It silences it. We'll have to see how long it takes for the snooze because I'm on. But anyway, that's the clock. I hope you enjoyed.